sure I am. I'm angry. <laughs> Hello, Noel. I I think every time we we don't what do I want to say. Every time we don't set up VC face before stream and just get it during like after we started the stream, it takes a second for it to pop up. Hello? Oh, I really want to, I was going to say, I really want to start the stream before midnight so that I don't have to specify in the VOD and confuse people. Like, this stream was started after midnight, so people aren't confused. You stream twice in one night when they see, I don't know if anyone would pay attention to that. Also, uh, in therapy today, the therapist said, Ah, therapist said that our mic was cutting in and out a lot, and I'm noticing the little green bar sometimes isn't showing up when I'm talking, so I might actually need to restart the computer. How is, is am I cutting in and out? Am I, I don't know if I'm cutting in and out. Oh, it's. I trust your judgment. I just like see the the green bar, but I the green bar might not always be reliable. I think sometimes it's not consistent or doesn't show when it should or something. Anyway, if you think it sounds good, I trust you because it was like a really big problem to the point where we had to call on the phone. Chat is not showing in screen. Oh. Chat might not be on the screen. But yeah, I think the chat box was a That's a good thing to note. Because I didn't realize chat wasn't on that screen, so we should probably add chat box to that screen later. And we should also add the TTS thing to that screen. Because I know during start stream... Uh, there's been attempts to use Justin, and Justin wouldn't talk. Because Justin only works on this screen. Hello, Lassa! Welcome to Kitty Game. I have been told that Nico from One Shot is actually a human that just looks like a kitty, but we're gonna pretend uh, she's a kitty because I'm pretty sure she's at least kitty kin. So I think that basically makes her a kitty. <laughs> Decide to watch double the amount of soul eater day snowman. It goes they them. That's good to know. I had no idea, and that's awesome. They themer. Or them themer. Why is the window so tiny? Can I make it bigger? Full screen so you guys can see it. Okay, there we go. On. It should show up. So it should show up, I said. So it should... Okay, it is showing up. Okay. Kitty game, kitty game, kitty game. Kitty game. Dedicated to our beloved friend Felix, the judge. We miss you. Aww. I don't know who you are, Felix, but I love you. <gasps> meow, wow, wow, wow. Hi, Faithbot! Okay. Examine. Cancel the lock lock. Faster! Menu inventory. Can... Well, the last two don't tell me what to hit with my controller. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you have picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory when the item is added. Either combine it with other items in the inventory or use it at certain locations in order to progress. I have... I, I have no idea how this game works. I, I, I think we tend to 
have like zero knowledge of anything until we experience it ourselves. Um, <laughs> we slurp. I think it's very rare we watch a walkthrough or a stream of a game that we haven't played that we want to play. Yeah. Although full screen is an option, the game is best experienced in windowed mode. Well, I want, um, big. <laughs> I'm curious why they say it's best experience in windowed mode. Is that true? Closing the game will save your progress. This game also autosaves after some key events. Meow. That's Scooper doing the voiceover. Scooper, can you say he hello? Scooper. Can you voice this line? Oh, that was... There we go. That was... That actually could have sounded like... Because you went... Eh. Oh. <laughs> the game is a bully if you close the game, so don't... Close the game to save it. Oh, that's so funny. It was a lie. It was a lie. I'm a kitty. Meow. I pick up the remote. What's this? This, uh... Ah! He's pushing the button! Oh, also, Feybud showed us how to turn off the button in Windows 11, but we still gotta actually go through it. Ah! does save it's just mean how's it mean he's biting my butt input password i don't know what the password is it makes nico sad oh no nico's scarf makes us ah oh sorry i was scratching at the litter or maybe gravy maybe that's gravy for some reason i thought he was rubbing against the computer but that's in the other room why is your audio in our ears thinking that the room in the other room was here a soft glowing light trickles through the window I we actually thought because of that therapy session that we should restart our computer in case it, it was on our end the whole time for stream and then we forgot. <laughs> I will. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot I should have closed the game. To return to this world, you need to relaunch the application. Proceed. I hope you won't be sad, Nico. I'm so sorry. I have to restart my computer, Nico. Please don't be sad. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Chào bố Chào bố mình sẽ kết nhau Mình sẽ kết nhau Also I just realized Maybe the mic somehow is cutting in and out Because of having the game open Because with therapy It was like uh, It was fine until I started screen sharing And then it was like too much For the computer or something I don't know how that worked But it always seemed like When we have trouble with stuff like that Restarting the computer fixes it. I don't understand computer. I maybe never will. Hello! Too much for Mike! Also, yeah, my ears so long. Hey, Boo! Thank you for the wait! You're just in time for me to play. I was playing and then I had to restart my computer because my mic was messing up and I think it should be good now, meow. Oh, hi, Fuki! Hello, Ipo, hello, Fuki. My brain blanked out. Oh, hello, Willie! My brain blanked out on what game I was looking for. And... I was like, am I looking for a game with an S? I don't know why I thought I was looking for a game with an S. I think I think I think I thought that I was looking for super animal. <laughs> Nico feels uneasy. Oh it's okay, Nico. I will never ever close the game again. I will play this game for the rest of my life. Where I go? <laughs> but you do your work. I I bet I gotta enter the password because that's like the only thing I can do, right? Oh, I got an item, right? Seven thousand. But wait, it's too hard to read in the dark light. It's a television remote. Can't work with computer. There's no TV around, is there? Whoa, well, look, I'm fast kitty now. It's over 6,000! Watch this. It's over 9,000! Just barely. Just barely. Understand our game mechanic. Oh, I just noticed when it's selected, it's in the corner of my screen. Okay, will we? I hope you have fun playing the game then. If you play the game, sounds like you want to. I think we bought this game like two or three years ago. <laughs> it's just like we we often buy a lot of games all at once during sales and we never get around to play them until one fateful day. I would love a hint. What? How did this happen? Oh... Wait, was that a joke, Fable? <laughs> All of the numbers except 7, 9, 2, and 0 are missing. Does that mean that's the code? What? Oh. 
How do you know that, though? Wait. How would you know that? Oh! That's using your brain. That's clever. Yeah! Whoa! The fish islands. Like the CRT computer screens, except more that way with the fish islands effect. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly... You only have one shot, Jewel? How did they know our name? <laughs> what? How did, how did they do that? I could see if it said you only have one shot, Captain Howdy, because that's our Steam name right now. <laughs> they use your computer? Is it like our email? I'm just curious where where our name is Jewel that I would know that. Also, the screen got small. Maybe I need to keep it small because it said it's better that way. So maybe. Maybe I will just make it bigger for y'all. Maybe I will stretch it. Come with the... Is it better this way? From my... Oh, my computer username. That makes sense. Nico here's sound of door unlocking. It just seems so tiny, not in full screen, though. I'm used to playing games big. Hello? Anyone? Also, I feel like it's too stretched for you guys. I don't know. Seems like a strange game. I thought Faybot played it for some reason. I want to turn full screen back on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me fix it on stream. <gasps> Kitty! <gasps> you don't know anything about it. Oh, oh, oh. A dangerous looking spark. Refrigerator, a bottle of alcohol, it's the table, sink won't turn on. So the spark is yellow in the Something else was green, right? Maybe I made that part up. The way the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit. How do I take the spark from the TV over to the fireplace? Oh, that was just that room. Creepy stepped on the laptop and highlighted everything. See what? One very important hint about this game, sometimes info can be found in both the most expected and least expected spot. I have fun figuring out what I mean by that. 
think I mix up this with flint hook? Never heard of that. That's a keyhole, I think. Probably important. How do I feel like I gotta take the spark over to the fireplace, but how do I do that? Robot would be a good name for a frog robot. Isn't Robot a Animal Crossing character who is a frog robot? Or am I misremembering that? <laughs> is there a button that I should be pressing to interact that I'm not? Or something. I know that I gotta use the spark from the TV to light the fireplace. But... I'm probably supposed to have an item that I would take to the TV and then put in the fireplace? Just a chair. Just a chair. There's two of them. There's two of them. Oh, there was another room. Oh, yeah. I just, for some reason, I think assumed that only this door opened up. Wow. No wobber in the toilet. It's me! A pair of luminous yellow eyes stare back at Nico. A withered plant. Oh. I know what I must do. Nico readies the branch. It doesn't manage to light. Oh no! But I think it should. Can I have both of them acting? Oh, what? Aha! <laughs> ah! I did it. The flames are dim, but comforting. Now what do I- there's a speck on the- Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. I did it! Yeah! That feels so smart. Basement key. I was trying to run, but I guess I can't run down the stairs because I'm a safe kitty. What's that? What's that? <gasps> Bulb. <laughs> Nico's favorite stim toy. the key anymore. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> she's trying to use the bottle as a key. Um, now what? I love the noise of Nico running on the floor. Just absolute scampering. I think I do need the key, though. Oh, wait. Those... What did it say? Oh, they can't be combined. I think I thought just because I was holding it, I had to select it, but I didn't. She's got, uh, they got the zoomies. You can quickly travel to the locations you have already visited by selecting the fast travel option on the menu. In the menu. Meow. The default key for opening the menu is ah. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. Who are you? Are you a robot? Aww. But what if I give you light bulb power? I got power now. To be friends with the robot. That's mean. What's left of a robot? Oh. Oh. Who are you? Ah. <gasps> I do used to be friends with a robot. You. That light bulb, you are here. M me? Can you see that line scooper? Can you see m me? Scooper? Scooper? Scooper, you want to be a voice actor, right? Wait, can you see me? Scooper? Good job. Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence. Yes! Scooper, can you say, Oh, thanks. <laughs> can you say, Sorry, I'm a little lost. Scooper, can you see this line? Can you say, Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? Scooper, can you say, I'm not sure. <laughs> Scooper, can you say it? Good job. You say, I woke up in this weird house. <laughs> you say it was really dark. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's so cooperative. So you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Scooper, can you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just as my prophecy foretold. Yes. <laughs> You are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Scooper. <laughs> he's, he's starting to go under my chair. Oh, he said it. He said, um. 
I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything, just like Cleverbot. That's what Cleverbot says, right? Or maybe I'm thinking something else. I don't know. Scooper, can you say, ah, well. Scooper. Scooper, see the line. Can you say, can you tell me about. <laughs> this world, this light bulb computer going home. I say light bulb? Scoopy's chair gives perfect access to Sephora, so no! Scooper, can you say I found it in the house I woke up in? Scooper? Scooper? Can you say, I found it in the house I woke up in? <laughs> Within your hands is our new son. Scooper, can you say, your son? Can you see that? <laughs> That's a big line. I'm impressed you read it. <laughs> yes. Years ago, our previous son sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Scooper, can you say, oh? You go. He went under the chair. <laughs> He's like behind the chair. What are you doing? What are you doing? You guys say, oh. Scoopy. Oh, you start to walk away, I think. <laughs> I'm on my own now. <laughs> my voice actor quit on me. <laughs> The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of the world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. But now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. Can you tell me about this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim. Nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. As you go further toward the center, you'll cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Ooh. Can you tell me about... Computer? In the house, I found this computer. It came saying stuff like, Your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. I had to guess they might be trying to pass the message to Jewel. No, I'm Snuggle. What if I change the computer's name to Snuggle? Snuggle? Ah, that would be our goal. <laughs> if you are here, that means Snuggle is here also. Snuggle will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. 
Really? Oh, I get to change it here? How? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Snuggle yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Snuggle. <laughs> I've achieved Godhead. An ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. I'm thinking about Snuggle. Hello? Snuggle? Are you there? That is not my name. Oh. Oh. Well, what is your name then? Can I do lower... Oh, jewels. Uh, I see a lower case. to meet you, Snuggle. <laughs> My name is Nico. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Snuggle, though. <laughs> this is incredible. It seems the recorded name was incorrect. <laughs> I mean, it's not entirely incorrect, because it is... Um... I was gonna say it's Jules' computer, but it's really all of our computer. It's just that I'm the one who's playing the game right now. Updating database. Hmm? Update complete. Do not be afraid to ask Snuggle for assistance. <laughs> you are the messiah after all. Can you tell me about... Going home? Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but I... I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. And now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. I think that's all I have to ask for, Meow. Excellent. I wish you luck. Hi. We're just standing together, just a couple funny guys. Just looking at you and a walking in directions sometimes. <laughs> Snuggle stole the computer. It snuggles now. Yeah! Nico tried to contact you a few days later. Did you want to hold if you had another head? It gets a hold of yet another headband. I just realized that. Thanks. I thought you meant Nico made a new headband. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. I see you. Boy Star. No robot say I changed the database so many times. I'm so confused how I get the name wrong so many times. A metal safe seems like it's locked with a six digit code. I don't remember seeing any six digit codes. Do you snuggle? I don't. That wasn't it. Try to get a hold of Nico and Colorful Cows, but you need me to new head me. Nox and Veridus, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Persist. Torn page has faded in. 
With the mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resilient robots, both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of Metal Alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. That's so smart! Oh, I thought maybe I could take it. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, so they can kill the imposter! Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seems like a waste to get rid of them all, so you kept a few for emergencies. I got to the point in Slater where Krona got what they deserve a hug. Oh, I love that part. Wow. Oh. A robot. No power, just like the rest. Oh, who are you? The light bulb. It's an anime character. So you are the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? No, uh, I'm a person. Hey, cats are people. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. She's going to sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb, your son, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know the tower contains the force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. You being the chosen one isn't true. This ain't no Digimon. Aww. Please do not touch that. Oh! Sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell. Keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. What's your name? What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh, he never told me if it went anywhere. 
jar full of glowing shrimp. The top is covered with a wire mesh. Chess table has two small chairs. A metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone for a very long time. Oh? Not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barrens have that capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed for that matter. Oh. You gotta tame a wild beast to be able to play chess in these parts. Metal bed doesn't look very comfortable. Something is poking out from the shelf. Ah, uh, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want, it may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Some kind of power cell. Apparently, the word silver is written on the side. Why does it say that? That's not important. Okay. Oh! I got shocked. I told you not to touch it. Snuggle me! <laughs> I got an achievement for that! She has a screwdriver in each finger. Oh, head candy. Snuggle made me do it. Headmates are gonna steal that now and say that whenever they get in trouble, I know it. Wait! I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. Snuggle is a criminal. <laughs> Snuggle is a criminal. Justin. There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. Or not. I don't know. Oh, it's mine. Meow. Wise words of Caboose. It's not my fault Tucker did it. <laughs> I see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can't. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. I can do it, but for you, it's illegal. What's ahead, anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines. The source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been for a while, meow. When the sun went on, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have all cleared have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. Was that the one that talked to us? The yellow light is gone, meow. Me must have imagined it. Safety violation! <laughs> Imagine walking up to a cliff and just yelling safety violation and running away and then walking up to the cliff again and saying safety violation and running away again. You don't have to imagine it because it's happening, right? Meow. <laughs> Why did Justin whisper that? Snuggle is a criminal. Have a good one, everyone. I hope one shot goes all. Bye, Noel. Are you leave? Mm -hmm. Where am I 
going now? I wish I just came from here, right? Safety violation. to do. What's this way? Snuggle, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. You're going to breathe that air and you're gonna like it. Escape is in the new Samba de Amigo. Is it? Ah, oh, that's so cool. I gotta look up the new Samba de Amigo. That's so exciting. Go left now. <gasps> Is fist bump from a Sonic game? That hedgehog. Wait, is this something I can go into? It is. machines look like computers. if you're there and you're just saying no. Oh, good. There's a robot here attached to a boat. It doesn't seem to have power and its joints are rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. Um, hello? This robot doesn't have any power. It might help us get across the ocean if we fix it. Oh, how are you fix the robot? Use a screwdriver to pull the lens out? Okay. Done. Oh. Now I don't have a screwdriver anymore, so that must be what I needed it for. I have no idea. 
idea. Ah, hey, hey, no idea. Oh yeah, I forgot. You gotta breathe. Kitties have to breathe. Sometimes I forget. Apparently. How do I fix the robot? We haven't fixed the choo choo tracks, or are they just for looks? Should I go back to the one person? Person who gave me a screwdriver? Oh, I never went in here. It won't turn on. A robot without power. <gasps> Page faded with ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We have provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single. The rest of the page is unreadable. The word profit bot is written on this side. I didn't notice that earlier. That's a big machine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything though. There's a rectangle shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in here. Seems to be okay, it just doesn't have power. Box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with you. Ah, oh, you used to have a screwdriver. Do I, am I able to get more? A robot may not injure a living person or through in inaction allow a person to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Map of the world. The 
Did I read this already? I don't think so. Use of a robot as all replacement head engineer seems unorthodox. Especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. Reminder to all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team ASAP. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. Oh. Meow. I want to see if I can get another screwdriver. I don't know what else I can do at this point. I think I did. Looks like a press used to crush metal. You want to smash a bottle here, Snuggle? <laughs> I forgot I was holding that. The shards would get everywhere. <laughs> Nico's face there. Oh yeah, I remember. I mean, not the code, but I remember seeing the save here. Did I read? I saw another page up this way. I don't know if I ever... ...interacted with that. The sun will not return and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry everyone for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. This one. Mm -hmm. I do have more screwdriver. I'm out of screwdriver. Do you need further assistance? We're a good thing. No, you got a free screwdriver. Maybe we just won't have one anymore. 
Wait, I don't think I read this one. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better than you can that you came back. Only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Nico, ask for a screwdriver. to do if I can't get another screwdriver. sure what to do. There was something I gotta pry open and then something that needed six digit code. And here's where the gas happens. I think when you go up too high it's like another area and you gotta like pass the barrens before you get up there, and I'm imagining I get a gas mask or something to be able to go up in there. the sound of a kitty thinking. Hmm. Meow. And then there was a robot that needed to be start with the boat right here. How we give you power? I can see a green glow in the distance. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Okay. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was how to save the game, I guess, without just closing the game. Let me... <laughs> I didn't realize that would close the game. <gasps> oh, maybe I was supposed to do that. Nico is shocked. Oh. Oh. Meow. Oh. are you still there? Oh, I can't say no to this one. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Ha! Wow! I... I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It 
it's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? <laughs> That's a secret. Earth? Like the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to be honest. Ah, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sign? I can't tell you that. <laughs> yes, it's also a big ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everything gets dark, kinda like how this world is meow. But it's okay because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? My world is like that, too. Ah! Do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep, usually, but some people stay up and use computers. <laughs> Calling me out. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. Uh, anyway, we should probably get going. It's a metal pipe. Must have broken off from one of the terminals. Yeah! I need this pipe to, to, um, do something. <laughs> there was a thing at some point that I thought I needed, oh, this is the gassy place. Um, I thought I needed a screwdriver floor, but I think the metal pipe would work. I don't remember what it was, but I know it was like, in a building that was kind of on the side. I think... Was it in this one? I don't think anything was in this one. It's not as far left as I thought it was, but I, I thought it was. Was it in here? Oh, it was this, I think. Pipe won't fit under the cracks, Snuggle. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Self-charging solar battery. Oh, that's what we need to power the one robot on the boat. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges it in seconds. No external power is needed. Troubleshoot manual. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. 
Once charge cycle will last about 10 days. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Oh, we'll need to flatten the pipe. So we probably have to combine the, the rod with something. How do we... Do we gotta smash the rod? Oh, what if we went to the, the smashing machine? Was this anything? No, I don't. Where is that one smashing machine? Was it in this building? Yeah. Ah, do you want me to crush this uh, pipe in here, Snuggle? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. <gasps> I feel so smart. Oh, it's a crowbar now. Oh, I feel so smart. I mean, I don't think we're usually good at puzzle games. But I feel like I'm doing pretty good so far, actually. Wait, this was the wrong building. Or no, it wasn't. It's the wrong room. It's up here. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on this side. It's empty, meow. Still got shards of glass at the bottom, though. Okay, so now... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. The lens pops right in. <gasps> empty battery. We're using the sun directly on the battery? I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Snuggle. Oh, I'm so smart. It looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. <gasps> I'm so smart. I feel just so smart today. Yippee! I'm having a smart time. This battery is supposed to be for the robot. Really? What? But they don't have power. And what else is the battery for? What is battery for if not to power a robot? Hi, baby. Am I going to just have to use the battery with, like, everything? Because I know it's got to be for something, because I had to do a bunch of puzzle stuff to get it. Greeby! <laughs> oh! I don't know if that was heard. I hope so. I just love Gravy so much. Ow! So true. So true, buddy. Where you going? 
buddy. What if I show you the battery? I guess I don't have anything. A prophecy? Did I? No, I think I already read this. Yeah. Um. <gasps> it won't turn on. But I got a battery. What good is a battery for if it can't power anything? Maybe if I read about the battery, it'll give me a clue. I mean, I already did read it, but I read it again. In full daylight with the lens facing up. Well, I don't think I can paste it in daylight because the sun's gone, but I have the sun, so I powered it up. It just talks about how to power it. I don't think it talks about how what to use <laughs> I love this kitty right here. Kitty named Gravy. <laughs> I like to pretend I eat his ears. Oh, maybe I gotta give it to that one character and say, look at what I made. I'm so smart. I don't know what to do with it, but I was smart enough to make it. So that means I'm smart. that one again, Snuggle. Aww. Aww, man, you got me. I'm just kidding. walking around till I find there's gotta be something to use this battery with hmm. 
I probably will have to use walkthrough at some point. I s we're not very good at puzzle games, I don't think, but... I feel like just this part I should be able to figure out. It should be obvious what you need this battery for, I feel like. I feel like the harder part would be assembling it than figuring out what you could use it on. And the thing with the screwdriver and the, the the camera to get the lens out, that was like... <laughs> I don't think that was... That was just me, I think, accidentally pressing two items together and then I did a thing. But everything else was brain power from me. Oh, he's just so cute and cuddly. I just don't get why it doesn't work on... on that robot. Seems like that should be the obvious thing to do. And the way they say it's not supposed to be for the robot makes it sound like it's supposed to be for something. What it's supposed to be for? What it's supposed to be for? What if it was supposed to be for the one thing with the six digit code? I highly doubt that. I think what you need for that thing is a six-digit code. I've already been in here a few times. I'm so smart. up a walkthrough, but I feel like it should be clear what to use a, a battery on. I just don't know why it don't work with the robot I get the new. Creepy! Do you know what to use the battery for? 
Jesus, I'm not helping you cheat. Just refilled that two days ago. Guess I'll take a trip to the shore later. Oops, I actually spilled some juice on me. Use the battery on. Let's hope the charge battery does something. <gasps> I'm so smart and so smart and so smart. Whoa! What to do? What to do? Ah! I just got shocked. Oh, sorry. Did that turn on some robots? <laughs> Thank you, Feebot. It did turn on the robots. I am functional. I can walk. Did you power the generator? I, I guess we did. Right, Snuggle? No. That's wrong. I'm sorry. I want to go see... I think the robot at the boat would be powered on now. I think. 
functional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is such a funny exchange. I don't know why. I am functional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why is that funny to me? <gasps> I am functional! Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Snuckle helped me. But yeah! Hello, nice to meet you. I am Robot310310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? <gasps> Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on, Stuckle and I will find a way to help you. Hang in there. Aww. Crowbar drink. Gonna smash the bottle. I wonder if you fill the bottle with something to help the robot, like oil or. <laughs> or do we use the crowbar? No, wait, I think I already tried that. I bet what you gotta do is fill the bottle with something, maybe. I don't know what else around here I can interact with, though. <laughs> I feel like I've interacted with everything. But maybe I haven't interacted with the bottle. Or maybe now that the robots are powered up and stuff, maybe... There's certain one I gotta talk to that I couldn't before. Oh. I just wondered if you were gonna congratulate me on my puzzle solving. But I guess yeah. Hello. Hi. I have power again. Yup. Hello, organic life form. Hello. I gotta talk to all the robots. Oh, hello. Hi. I love when robots say, oh, hello. And I say, hi. Hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below us is the old quarry. The head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. I see. Oh, I thought you were gonna congratulate me on Solving a cool puzzle.
why do you unrest a robot? I feel like everything you ever interact with or do anything with at all ever is always inside a building and never out in an open area. Well, I guess that's not true because there is the robot with the boat that seems important, but most stuff that's important seems to be inside. I also want to solve it myself. But I don't know what else I can do. Hey, Scronin! Was this computer not working before? What? Ah! It says, I see you've made progress in this world, Snuggle. Sorry that it got small, by the way. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. It's true. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what this means, Snuggle? A pop-up just came up. No. I mean, I think I do, but not entirely, so I say no. Because I want you to tell me. You still don't know the extent of the world's deterioration, do you, Snuggle? Sigh. Cringe. <laughs> Doesn't even understand the extent of the world's deterioration. <laughs> Most of the time, stray pieces of this world would be lost to blissful nothingness. But this code, this document, is an exception. I bet it's like in the game files or something, isn't it? I was able to salvage it because Nico needs the code to progress. Now go find it. Okay, let me make it full screen again. Let me see if I can... 
That's so funny how it does that. If this is really true. I have a feeling. <laughs> I gotta find out where the game is saved to. I don't remember if it's on the hard drive. The external hard drive, I mean. Uh, Steam library, Steam apps, common one shot. Yeah, I have no idea what they're talking about. I don't- I don't think that's how it works. Unless it's saved somewhere else, but I'm in the one-shot folder. And it looks like there's no files that are, like, tonight. Everything's from 2021 or 2022. Oh, there's one from 2020. Or maybe- maybe it wouldn't be a file that just got created. Like, just now, but maybe one that's always been there and it's just drawing your attention to it. There's a readme file. It's just like controls and features. Uh, what do they mean by document? I I feel like this is really the way the the hint worked. It sounded like it's saying that it's not in the game. It's like on my computer or something. Let me read it again. The code is contained within a document. The document has found a place it belongs outside the game. See? Do you know where to find documents, Snuggle? You mean just my documents folder? <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, that's cool! I looked in my documents folder and I see a document called document.oneshot.txt. <laughs> That was created at 1.59 a.m. on tonight, March 28th. Oh, it's creepy. Oh, wait, I got a screen share. This is so cool. Because I feel like if I talk about it, you won't believe me. <laughs> Let me just answer the question. Uh, yes. Good. Start looking. Okay. I did. I found it. Let me... Change this back to full screen. Let me turn on display capture so I can show you. See, I just went to my documents folder, and there's a document called document.oneshot.txt. And it's got this spooky. Message to you, and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that. Eat it, and you won't know what to do. I have also left you a mask of a book of the Look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east, somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point. The code you need is 616280. I wonder if the code is always different. Hang on, let me uh, turn on the game. I mean, turn on, uh, turn off display capture. Yeah. So, 618280? That's so cool to me. 
where'd it go? I think I might need to go like one screen over. Oh, here it is. Oh, it worked! Wait, how did you know the code, Snuggle? Oh, well, I have my special ways. I still don't remember seeing one. <laughs> That's literally what I just said! <laughs> I see. What's in the safe, Nico? gas mask. Yay! Also, there's this weird-looking book. I can't read it, though. Not that I can read or anything, because I can. Oh, not that I can't read or anything. I just don't know what language this is. I'll wear it when I have to. Oh, rebellious little kitty cat, huh? You'll wear it now! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh! What is that? Huh? I can't interact with it. Let, let's go, let's go uh, breathe nasty air, but not because we have a mask. so cute with the mask on. I should be fine with this mask on. Oh! I love it. Such a good look, Nico. You still gotta figure out how to fix that robot, or unrest that robot. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the other. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? There's definitely some way to capture some gas or something related to that area um, to take to the robot. Who are you? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? The living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Reading you is not part of my programming. <laughs> that is so relatable! <laughs> that is so relatable! Have you spoken to the prophet bot? I think so, yeah. Prophet bot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. <laughs> At least not with ease. Oh, that's relatable. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, uh, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Oh? Huh. Unit RM2883417 reporting for duty. 
I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Um, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, they're just walking around. So you're just gonna follow me? Yes. Until you safely reach a building of your destination. All right. <gasps> Robot companions! I love how the antennas move. The antennas remind me of like, like a cartoon bunny or a kitty that moves their ears when in response to emotions or something. Infirmary. Hello, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Unit RT384720140 for duty. Seems that you already have met. Uh, seems you already have an assigned escort, Unit RM. I just called you already. <laughs> Would you like me to leave? You can follow me if you want. Understood. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Did I get a replacement, or do I have two following me now? I kind of ran up ahead from the other one. I think, <laughs> I think they can't keep up with me. I'm just too fast. I should go to the buildings, but I kind of want to look around the, the main area. There's a lot more water here. There's a no- Oh! The vent is on the ground. All the others are taller than me. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the bearings. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hadn't spread anywhere else. Our bio uh, biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. Oh my. Shrimp love to eat poisonous gas. They go, yum! I love- I'm so full of gas poison, yum! like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them up onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. Hey, sweetie. Six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll be able to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Aww. It's like the Kimber Garden from Steven Universe. I'm scared of ladders. <laughs> oh, look at you! Hello, person of organic makeup. 
Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected. None. Treatment required. None. You are good to go. Her thanks. Meow. It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. But we fill up the syringe with something. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No. Oh, carry on then. Nico sounded a bit unsure. No. I remember being taught in school about how the water surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Some of the ink on his face has faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots. At least not as at a significant rate. Time will tell. Checking, checking. The terminal does not respond. This is a problem. All of these terminals do not move. I am not sure what to do now. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not really sure what- I'm not sure what they meant by that. Bummer, it looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as it- as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Ah, so I think there's writing on this one too. It says Guardian of Residential Area. By the way, some robots may start following you around this settlement as well. Do not be alarmed. It is their job to keep people safe. Oh. Robots do so much for us. They need so many kisses and hugs. Did I read this one? I did. A gas vent. <laughs> Table. Oh, the way Nico said I can't reach the top there when I try to use the bottle. I think I'm supposed to use the bottle with the one vent that's on the ground. I saw a vent that was on the ground. Just gotta find it again. Uh, where was it? I 
It's probably in an area where Nico has the gas mask on, but I think there was like a couple areas where Nico had the gas mask on. Whoops. I might just explore this area in general and just keep an eye out for it. Okay, so this is as far right as we can go, I think. So I probably actually explored all there is. I think I just need to find that vent. Did I go in here? I think I went in. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. It's just pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Do -do -do -do. Hello, person. The robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the bearings. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. It seems to have to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. I said a gas and blue phosphor. Oh, I bet I have to combine the gas and blue phosphor. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. So I, I think I was right about the gas, but I think I also need blue phosphor. It's a big metal box with complicated machinery inside. The door is all boarded up. Boards seem loose, though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Good thing I kept this crowbar. Yippee! What a workout. I'm so buff kitty now. Bed metal box is complicated machinery inside. What's this? Cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Oh. Generators can only do so much. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Oh, that's weird. So you use the bottle to get the gas and then you use the syringe to put the phosphor into the container. Shake vigorous vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. If elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after a step. Good thing I got my safety gloves. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Snuggle. Oh, it's a big metal box. I know what the words mean. But I need to know where to find blue phosphor. I'm not sure where to do that. At least not yet. It's not this stuff, is it? I don't think so. Put some animations together. Ooh! That's exciting. I hope you have fun with animations. And thank you. 
I'm having so much fun with my friend Nico the kitty. A picture of a robot? You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Snuggle. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nico, do a robot voice? What? Try talking like a robot. Um. Him. Beep boop. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. Hee <laughs> hee. That is not correct. <gasps> Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Snuggle, you made me look silly. <laughs> you blaming me? I just, I, I just wanted funny robot voice to happen. Nico caught doing a Minecraft question. That's what I thought too. I just couldn't think of the word for it. <laughs> did I read the- I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. this one though. Evacuation at such short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. I guess that's Mondays for you or something like that. Some sort of a mechanical drawing. Maybe the one vent was out this way? Yes. I guess you want me to fill the bottle with this gas, Snuggle? That ought to do it. Whee! Bottle of smoke. gotta find the phosphor. I don't even know what it would look like. Oh, is this it? This pond sure looks different. Water looks like jelly? It's formed over a bubble over the surface of the pond. So, we're filling up the syringe snuggle? I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. I thought we were gonna have to find a funnel, but it didn't work. So now I combine this with this. So I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Snuckle? I'm so smart. It's like I'm a doctor. Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color. Now I think I take that to the robot. That was all rusty. something I can use to wash the robot with. Okay. Don't we have? Yeah. I'm guessing you want me to pour this acid onto the sponge snuggle? 
Good thing I have these gloves. I hope this works. Yippee! I'm so smart. I'm so smart, Snuggle. I'm the smartest Snuggle. All right, hold still. I have no other choice. This is the the robot cleaning music. There. How is that? I can move again. Thank you. All of the heart. I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen Port number. My build and navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Aww. Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. How am I supposed to know who that is? Have you talked to the head engineer yet? She lives near the mine entrance. Oh! I would have given you the coordinates, but... Oh, so that was, that was the anime person. Right? Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me toward the tower, but it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Alright. What is the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Snuggle and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tra tracking system should activate. <gasps> oh! Nico doing the Pikachu face. That's a pretty necklace. Oh, that's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... <sighs> I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Oh, thank you. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah. Well, sort of. I've played with some older kids before. Then will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well. But I guess it's the least I could do. Oh my. You're really good at this. Thank you. It was built into my code. Ah. So, what's it like being a robot and all? 
I've talked to other robots, and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did, just now. It's a little hard to, mi to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. <laughs> there goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. I thought she just meant watch out. There's an untamed robot beast coming up behind you right now. Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are. But I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? There goes my little horsey. Night. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates is... The coordinates, the memory. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then there's nothing I can do? Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the barons were, was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But... Checkmate. Alright, guess I kept you long enough. Thank you for wishing me. I hope you get home safely. Ah, uh, thank you also. I love you. Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the barrens. But I love you. But I love you. But I love you. Consider. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to go up there. I thought that was too far, but it's not. Here's my friend. Oh! This is Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system, setting course, Wait, 
this boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh, well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. Or this gas mask and gloves. That is acceptable. Onwards we go. I hope you're right, Nico. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, here is your stop, the Glen. Thank you. It should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. They make you go back and pick them out of the trash later. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Uh, are you leaving? Yes, I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. <laughs> it's okay. I'm a snarling, growling beast. I'll be okay. What? What happened? What happened? You see the Mickey Mouse video of him going, What happened? What happened? What happened? I'm trying to do it. Just the same way, but it's kind of hard. What happened? This place is so pretty. <gasps> Who are you? Who are you? Ah! I'm trying to catch up to you, but you're so fast. Catching fireflies for mommy. That's your name? That's a funny name. I'm sorry, I don't mean to make fun of you. Oh, stretch. Catching fireflies for mommy. <gasps> Who are. What kind of creature are these people? There was a time where our people used to live in these ruins. But due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land has gotten brittle. The glen used to be on one piece, you know? Oh, that's cool. I, I still need to catch up with that anime. I'll try to look out for them in their show. Now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Ah. Empty jar. Jar of worms, gross. I got a jar of worms. 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 Jar of worms. <laughs> Worm coals. These are filled with small dried fish. It's a bed. Or more like a mattress. A squishy noise. Was th did I see everything up here? I just like to kind of do it section by section so I don't overlook anything. Oh, who are you? Hmm. Nothing's biting. Stepping on the beach, do 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 do. Stepping on the beach, do 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 do.
<laughs> I'm making a song. Most of the green moss covering our village has already lost its glow. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the boundaries of the land, people would easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water becomes indistinguishable here. I'm just casually breaking into someone's house. It's not ready yet, but would you like some stew? Oh, is it hedgehog stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. Fireflies light up this room. Jars. You're gonna get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. I'm the tower! Huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight to the world. Hedgehog <laughs> soup, actually. <laughs> I hope it will do. I wanna see it too. While I'm here, meow. I guess it'll only be a matter of time again. <laughs> Holes. Peas. Full of dried beans. Wow! Scooper vetoed. What is he vetoing? Wow! Is that the sun? Yeah. And you're holding it? Isn't it hot? Not really. It's nice and warm. Like one here. This is the stool. <gasps> Look at all the jars. Sort of grain. Oats. Oats. He heads of wheat. I almost said heads of wheat. I don't know why I pronounced heads that way. Flour. Oats. Jar of some sort of grain. Heads of wheat. Jar of some sort of grain. Wow. This is it. The last of our grain surpluses. And now we're dealing with a vermin problem. Maybe you can get cats? <gasps> Meow! They need you, Scooper. You gotta go inside the video game. You gotta go inside the video game. Not that I'm a cat. I mean. <laughs> you gotta go inside the video game. <laughs> Hole. Moss. I guess people eat those. Wow! It's slowly being chipped away already. But it's still trying to stay alive, I think. Doesn't matter. One day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. Wow! I'm gonna try to pick him up. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's big. I guess all hope is lost because he's too big to fit inside the video game. <laughs> Especially if they don't want me to have it on full screen. <laughs> I had it at full screen anyway, but... 
Daddy says the world is very sick. But Snuggle can make it better again! <laughs> Are you Snuggle? Uh, not really. I'm just a messiah, they say. I know, Scooby. I can talk with Snuggle, though. Wow! What's that like? <laughs> really cool! Aw, Nico, I love you too. Who are you? Oh, it's a sheep! <gasps> ah! <laughs> Scooper's talking with the sheep. Having a very intellectual conversation here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Was just having a good time getting down, but I think the sheep is possessed. <laughs> you only got one shot, do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Here we go. <laughs> I only know that song because of AMVs. Also, hello, you! I forgot to say hello! No. Is this a Cyclops person, or am I, like, not seeing their face correctly? Maybe those... Never mind, I think those are two eyes. I don't know why I was seeing it as, like... Not a Cyclops. Like, a, I was seeing, like, their head as an eyeball. Like peepers from Wander Over Yonder. I don't know why I was seeing their head that way. Hello. You are le You legally are required to know some Eminem. I think that's the only one I know. Oh, I know Slim Shady. Because I think everyone knows that one. Oh, Scooby, you're so big. Oh, he sounded offended. Meow! You're so big. Oh. Oh, I gotta, I gotta hold him for you. Ah, ah, ah. Give him a hug. Need someone to help me herd my lambs. Oh, I can do that. I've seen some grown-ups do it back home. You just kind of... You just, you kind of just push them around. Hmm, you are carrying the sun. Ah, wait, can't you just watch the sun for me? I cannot. I am but a simple shepherd. Um, okay. Come back when your hands are free. You will be rewarded if you can herd my rams. But uh, how do I... How am I supposed to be able to put this down? I'm just obsessed with this one. It's so funny. Hey, yeah. Uh, you here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make... Me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do we have something like that, Snuckle? I probably shouldn't do this, but I just want to see what happens. 
Snuggle, no. <laughs> but we gotta get rid of it somehow. I don't think it's right to trade this away, Snuggle. Oh, hey, you have one of those coin things. I've dug up a couple of these before. Oh? Yeah, there's this guy who would trade me the best things for them. Oh? Like one time he brought me this little machine that plays music. Is it called pop music? I don't know what it's called, but you gotta wind it up. Music box? That's it. I wish that guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I wanna do more trades with him. That's actually good, but there's a handful of good ones, but Zeph lives on 8 Mile. Don't you know? I feel like there should be a different standard. Wait, what? I live on 8 Mile? That's kind of creepy, because we literally actually live... I don't know if that's doxing myself, but we live close to a street called 8 Mile. I'm confused. <laughs> How do you know this information? Eight Mile is famous because of Eminem? Like Eight Mile in Michigan? <laughs> Looks like an altar. Like a headmate? A staff. Reminds me of the one robot from Barons was holding. Oh, wow, that's wild. Some kind of cloak or shawl all folded nice and neatly. I, I always remember how we once saw someone with a shirt that said straight out of 8 Mile. And we always just assumed they had that custom made because they really loved the area. But maybe it was not custom made then. The flood can take away our farmlands. But it can't take away our fish. You were just memeing. Oh no, it's too late. Doorway is full of vine snuggle. I need some shears or something. Whoa, that's a lot of shiny things. Glass shards, glass marbles. Empty glass bottles, mostly empty glass bottles, glass bottles filled with different things, bits of string, colored wool, plain wool, fabric scraps, rusty bucket scrap, metal shells, and rocks. What's all this for, by the way? I just think they're neat. <laughs> A couple of fireflies are buzzing about in this jar. You're kind of far from home, sheepy. Not that far, but, like, you're the only sheepy that's in the next place over. Even the demon-possessed sheep isn't far from home. Because they know that home is... I don't know. <laughs> home is good. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know what I, where I was going with that. Look at I can't... I can't get through. The sheep are blocking. Um. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm supposed to put the sun down. Nico really doesn't want to put it down. Probably be wrapping up pretty soon. I am curious what the next step even is here. Meow! I love talking to the sheep. 
especially this one. <laughs> it's just so silly. Oh, I mean, never went up here. Who are you? The crops have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Please, Savior, you have to hurry. I, I'll do my best. Did you hear that? Alula! I think it's coming from southeast up here. Alula! Hey, you there. Oh, you're pretty. Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you, and... Wait! That's the sun. Are you our savior? I... yeah? Oh my stars. Sorry for my rudeness. Oh, uh, it's alright. Are you looking for someone? My little sister. She's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but... What does she look like? I'm a little shorter than you, long blue hair, two feathers on top of her head. Sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Where's the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was headed toward the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. Oh. So, whoa, God. The sun. You're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm-hmm. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name in the scroll first. All right. Do you have a pen? Um... No. I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. Person, please do note that the ruins below are par partially flooded. Oh, should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. Scampering noises. These vines appeared mere minutes ago. Really? I've been seeing a lot of them in doorways and stuff. I just assumed it was because this place was abandoned. Sign of distress. Huh? Living being is in need of help. But I cannot trace the source. Ah. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. 
it's a normal thing to say to yourself. The pathway is blocked by blocks. <laughs> we can't just hop over them. Maybe they could... It's okay. It's okay. Too late for me. But... My son... I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior... It's not too much trouble. Can you lend me the sun for a while? I... Will it make you bubber? No. It will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I... Well... Oh... Would it... Would it be too selfish of me to ask? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what should I do, Snuckle? Here! Oh, now I could do the sheep thing, right? Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The, the vine should be gone, meow. I'm not afraid anymore. It's so dark now. Oh, maybe it's not that dark. It's darker, but not as dark as I thought it was. It got a little lighter after a little bit. I'm gonna hurt some sheeps. Then I gotta remember to pick up the sun again, because I'm sure I'm not supposed to leave it there. <laughs> tired from walking. I don't worry if I take a nap. No! <laughs> what? What's going on? The last time um, Kitty went to bed Oh, wait. It froze. I was... I had to close it. Or like, the, the window shrank and then the game froze. Um, and it crashed, I mean. Um, I was back. I was gonna say the last time Kitty went to bed, the game closed, but I think it was meant to close that time. So maybe it was supposed to close, but it like froze instead of just closing. Oh, kitty, what's wrong? Kitty, 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 kitty going home, I think. Snuggle, I had another dream. Or did you see this one too? I was in a big field like the one in my last dream. And I saw my village, but then I woke up. Ugh. I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat. Big wheat fields. The only plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. What? Is moss even a plant? Or wait, is moss even a plant? Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Snuckle? Oh. They're really pretty, aren't they? 
The one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall. Sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's like an ocean of food. Oh wait, but there's food in regular oceans too. Like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. That's really cool, Snuggle. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. Aww. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here, either. Ah, uh, I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Snuggle. It's a little hard to imagine that now after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Me too. Really? Even though you're a god? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it's a good thing I got over that fear. I, I kind of forgot I was supposed to be a god for a second. <laughs> it's funny. I'm scared of the dark, too. Really? Even though you're a god? Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. So, thanks for that. Aww. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Snuggle. We got some sheeps to herd. Who are you? Oh. I, I thought... <laughs> I didn't realize they were facing the wrong way and I thought, like... They didn't have a face. They were just some formless entity. And and I thought they were bloody. Because of the red on their outfit. I don't know why I thought they were, like, scary. I'm sorry. Are you from the village? No. Oh, wait, I, I already talked to you. I don't remember why, but our father left the village when we were still young. We've lived in the ruins ever since. Well, it's just Alula and I now. I can't lose her, too. I hope she's not the plant girl. Cause I got some bad news if she is. It's the best fishing spot I've found yet. Oh, wait, no, she said that she had two leaves on her head. I don't... I don't think the plant girl did. I don't remember. All the fish I catch here are longer than my arm. Okay, I think I should focus on sheep herding. I think I want a sheep herd and then get my son back and then that would be a good time to wrap up. I just don't want to... Um... Like start anything. Like be in the middle of something that I have to remember what I have to do. So I want to finish anything that I started that I have to remember to do. Like the sheep herding. Where are they? Where'd those sheep go? They say, bah! And stuff like that. And one sheep says, Bleh! Wait, not you. I was trying to talk to the sheep person. Where are you? There you are. I meant to talk to you. I was just, I had to say hi. I see your hands are now free. 
Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They're all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them onto the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they'll all return to their original position. Good luck. Oh, I thought it was the sheep around here that I was supposed to herd, but it's like a specific group of sheep. I can't get over that sheep. I'm assuming it's these sheep. Oh, I see. Oh. So I'm guessing, I think they each have to be on one of these holes. This is a little twicky. This is different than I thought it would be. I don't know why I <laughs> couldn't have the sun for this. I think I just got a sheep stuck. I did get a sheep stuck. Sheep are always saying things like, Wait. Oh, I think I might have messed it up again. It's actually really simple now that I realize, but it might take me a few tries. I think I might have messed it up again. Oh, I definitely messed it up now. It's so simple, but then I do something where I can't, where the sheep gets stuck. Oh no. <laughs> no, I did it again. I think. Because uh, it's like, I can push this one down here. But then I can't pull this one out. And I can't go this way because, yeah. Aww. 
a very interesting puzzle. I love these guys. These guys are my friends. I think I got it. I think I got it. I did it! <gasps> I wonder if this was an optional thing or if I had to have done that. That is <laughs> so silly and cute. I love it. You've provided a great service for all of Ramkind. Return, take this fine ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. Or is that something I can trade? I don't know if that was yes or a no. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take wool, right? What can this wool get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of... I'm not sure what this is, actually. Some sort of fabric dye? Hmm, how about it, Snuggle? I'll do it. Pleasure doing business. Okay, I'm gonna get my son back, and then I'll wrap up. the general area exact so that's what matters I wonder if the fabric dye is that's probably gonna be something that I need for some reason it's not just it probably was an optional quest it wasn't an optional quest I just want to see what's is there anything over here. I feel like if I interact with too much, I might I might get going on another quest or something. Maybe I shouldn't. Was it? No. in here. Here we go. I'm sorry, I need this back, meow. It's the sun. We're leaving it with her for now. What? But how do I take it back? Not afraid anymore. Thank you. Maybe I'll just close the game here so that when I open the game, I think 
it'll start right here and then I'll remember that the sun is here <laughs> and then I should remember to that I have to pick it up later I guess for joining me on my kitty tastic day adventure thing fun time Whee! that was such a cute game i'm surprised that that i played that long and didn't ever want to look up a walkthrough even though i had a lot of puzzles in there i feel so smart I almost got stumped, but then I got unstumped. I don't know if I'll be able to beat the whole game without ever looking up a walkthrough, but we'll see. Um, my next stream will be next week. I'll be doing more coloring. Um, we want to make a PNG tuber for data and. I feel like there was something else. Might be some kind of fan art we wanted to draw and color. Um, I want to color um, a Shaolin Showdown fan art that we drew that I might have seen in the Discord. I can't remember what else I wanted to do, but I mainly wanted to do a PNG tuber for data and that Shaolin Showdown uh, fan art. And also more doodles. Um. I'll probably be doing coloring every, like every other week for a little bit and then maybe go to do it every third stream like how Metal and Puddle do their third stream type stream <laughs> with Magical Girl Raising Project and Sonic Comics. Um, our next stream is um, Wednesday night with um, Chalky doing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. And if she finishes early, which she probably will, it will do, uh, Brawl Stars, which is a mobile game we recently got into, although we like to play it on PC. We figured out how to play it on PC. But it is a game for your phone. That funny little rectangle that you like to play on. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling silly. Um... And then Thursday night, we got Pookie guest streaming, um, doing some Invader Zim games. We're hoping to play the Nicktoons Brawl, All-Stars Brawl or whatever it's called, the Brawl game, and the Baseball game, and Glob of Doom. Uh, and then Sunday night, Meadow is playing more Pokemon Violet. Uh, I'm Gare Fuki, who is playing Persona 5. <laughs> Let me get Twitchy up. One second. I forgot that I restarted my computer. Wonderful day or night, wherever you're at. Please take care of yourself. I love you. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Um, yeah. Wee. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, uh, bye bye.